Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. In today's quick comparison video, we will be looking at my indigo watercolors. So indigo is not a color I use all that often. I tend to just use a Payne's gray or mix something similar myself. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. And this is Magello Mission Gold Indigo. And it's made from PB29, PB27 and PBK7. I've heard a few people say that this is the ugliest indigo they've ever seen. Um, I actually don't mind it all that much. I mean, yeah, it's a bit too green leaning, but it's quite an interesting color. What do you think about it? Besides the strangeness of the color, it is quite a nice paint to paint out. And yeah, Magella always re-wets really easily from the palette. Okay, now on to number two, and this is Schmincke Horodam Indigo. And it's made from PB15-1 and PB66. So PB66 is the synthetic indigo pigment, which I believe is not quite fast. And yeah, Schmincke do actually class it as two stars, which means it has limited light fastness. I mean, it's a shame, really, as it's a quite a beautiful paint. You can really see the huge difference in color between this one and the Magello. The Magello almost looks green. I'm guessing that this Schmincke is closer to how the real indigo should look. Okay, next we have Daniel Smith Indigo. And this is a mix of PB60 and PBK6. Yeah, again, this one looks quite different from the previous two. It's much, much warmer. So you can definitely tell that it's made from a PB60. Yeah, it's very nice though. Um, yeah, like most Daniel Smith paints, it's really nice when you paint it out. And now for the final paint, we have St. Petersburg White Knights Indigo. And this is made from PBK7, PB15 and PV23. So this one includes a violet in the mix, along with the usual blue and black. Yeah, again, it's a very nice paint. Um, I think you can really see how warm the Daniel Smith looks next to this one. This one is quite a bit cooler. Yeah, I think this one's a bit more similar to the Schmincke, though I think we have to wait for it to dry to really be able to compare. Okay, that's all of them painted out, and here they are when completely dry. So it's quite interesting to see that all four indigos are completely different from each other. Um, the Magello is the greenest by far, and then you have the Daniel Smith, which leans a bit more towards red. And while the color of the Schmincke is nice, it isn't light fast, so. I guess that by default, my favorite here is probably the White Knights. So what do you think about these indigo watercolors? Do any of them actually resemble the genuine indigo color, in your opinion? I'd also be very interested to hear in the comments which brand of indigo you use. Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.